Well, which candidates came out on top? Here to break it down, the one and only Fox News Digital Politics editor, host of Power Play, Chris Steyerwald, back from Cleveland. Had a couple of days to digest everything, had a couple sleep. of days to sleep. Uh, you don't need sleep, though. Did you're, you really? You're a machine. Oh, my gosh. You cannot believe I fell asleep. I almost fell asleep cooking eggs. Yes. Uh, you need could be dangerous. It, it, could, it could. That's could right totally with a gas dangerous. stove. Is the, has the race materially changed? Do we know anything now that we didn't know a week ago? Well, yeah, we know an awful lot more than we did a week ago, because remember the point of these debates. The point of these debates is not to be a uh, to cast the Republican Party in glory. The purpose of these debates is not to humiliate people. The purpose of these debates is to help voters make choices. Now, we live in a world where you get all the blather and palaver from the candidates. They are full of sound bites and just gas. They are just gaseous emanations. Uh, the point of the debate is accountability. It's the one time, thanks to the help of a lot of viewers uh, and some, <clears throat> some difficult questions, uh, that in front of God and Brett Baer and everybody, uh, you've got to say, you've got to answer the question, and that helps voters form their choices, and that process is just beginning. You have said in one of your pieces that you don't necessarily win this debate, you just survive it. That's right. But was there any sinking ships? Did anybody just... Rand, Rand Paul had it. It didn't sink. It listed a little bit. Uh, it maybe capsized. Uh, no, I don't. I, we won't say that he went all the way over, but it li okay. it's listing a little bit. Um, and uh, I've heard it said that maybe he felt unwell that day or whatever it was. But he had a I called it a sour countenance uh, in the debate. He was trying to get in and fight with Trump, but he came off as pinched or sour, and that's never good. So he didn't help himself. But by and large, look, this is how this goes. When you Choose your nominee, and the Democrats will go through the same thing. They're, uh, they're for the sake of Hillary Clinton, delaying, delaying, delaying until the end. Maybe they can have all their debates on one day. Uh, but the for what you do is first you eliminate, and then you select. So the Republicans right now are going through a phase where they say that's not going to be him. It's not going to be him. It's not going to be him, him, him. And then they'll get down to their final batch, and they'll figure it out at the end. So our next CNN debates, you suspect that we'll have some more clear victories, and and others who don't do well. I. Uh, <sighs> You put me in a difficult position, I'm madam. Sorry. I'll but I'll, you know what? We'll let that's, her, that's her job. <laughs> I'll, I'll now let now you know how I feel, Chris. Well, I don't want to. I, it's not my place to say how. I, I hope that CNN uh, does uh, their utmost for uh, the highest purpose of the national goodness. Uh, so we'll see what they do. Look, look, as you look at the ten guys who are on the debate stage for mm -hmm. the 9 p.m. debate, everyone seems to say that the 5 p.m. debate, Carly Fiorina came away and Crushed really. It. Yeah. Crushed it. Did, yeah. did herself a lot of favors. Is there anybody out of those ten that were on the stage that you think people all of a sudden said, "Yeah, they really had it together." They all of a sudden people think a lot higher of them than they may have before. We'll find out. I think Marco Rubio unquestionably had uh, a very good. If Carly Fiorina won the day uh, by a clear margin uh, for his debate, Marco Rubio did a very good job. But Scott Walker turned in a very creditable performance. He was sound and solid, and people have been trying to put the rap on him that he's unsteady. He looks steady. Uh, but there, uh, and Jeb Bush, not exactly a uh, uh, a fiery or or great performance, but solid. He didn't uh, he didn't take himself out of the running in any way. Chris but, Christie. Um, uh, for people who like that, there was a lot of it. Uh, but uh, the two I would say, Mike Huckabee and Ben Carson, both, uh, will the people who like them will be reassured in that. And I'd, I'd say they probably heard a lot of things that they liked, and I think Carson probably did himself well. Interesting. Okay. True story. And, is we, and how long is it till we have polling back that really has allowed voters to dissect it, to digest what they saw, and then give a reasoned opinion rather than a quick overnight snap poll? Well, here's, here's what I would say. We'll see. There's the debate, and then there's what happens after the debate, and what happens after the debate is still happening. Uh, Donald Trump is still on the telephone, uh, and so, so the, on and on that goes. The consequences of what happens after the debate, how it's changed the race, and how it's done all of that stuff, you know, Trump did well enough within the debate itself. It was the after the debate part that he didn't do so hot. How does all that play out? I would say it'll be not really this coming week or this week. It'll probably be next week that we see how it shakes out. You talked about some of the candidates on stage being fiery and others such as Jeb Bush perhaps sort of laying yes, low a little bit. Right. Is that strategy, and I asked this question yesterday, are we going to see him come out in, in the next couple months and, and maybe have a more aggressive stance in the next debate? I mean, is there strategy there that we're not knowing is going
going on behind the scenes? You, well, look, you uh, to thine own self be true. Jeb Bush is called to be Jeb Bush. And if the Republican Party doesn't like Jeb Bush, uh, he's not going to be their nominee. He can't all of a sudden reinvent himself as his older brother. He's got to be Jeb Bush. And that means that he is more placid in his demeanor. That means he is uh, has a slower burn on his fuse. That means all of those things. And either the Republicans are going to like him or they're not. But I think that what you saw at the beginning, he was a little unstable. He gave an Iraq answer that was a little leaky. He needs to fix that up. But by and large, what you saw was a guy who wants to talk about policy, is a little bit wonkish, uh, but he's very tall, so he's got that going for him. And he does say, I am Jeb. He does say, I am Jeb, exclamation. And evidently, he earned that from the people in Florida. He said as well. There you Hebe. go. Hebe. Yes. All right. Glad we cleared that up. Mr. Steyerwald, appreciate it. Yeah, thanks Enjoy for Enjoy a couple of more Sunday. hours of sleep, maybe a Sunday afternoon nap. Not a we'll bad idea. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Next guys. Next year ahead, you won't be getting much of it. <laughs> appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks.